Hey guys, Tyler2k here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, Brussels Challenge. Uh, this is a TWT 2023 Challenge event uh, that's being held in Brussels. Uh, a couple of quick things. Uh, first of all, I think this is the first of the... Um, not, so basically what I was going to do, usually with Challenger events, simply because there's usually like a lot of footage, um, I will do like later parts of it. And in this case, they did top 24 today, uh, but they also did their pools. But what I noticed... Uh, was that the pool play, every final of the pool seemed to be insanely, insanely stacked. So like world-class level at, at the end of every single pool. So I'm like, man, rather than covering just top 24, um, I'm like, man, I should really cover the, the end of the pools and then top 24. Uh, so that's going to be a single video. Uh, second of all, uh, there's actually another video after this. Um, yeah, I don't actually have it come, queued up, come to think of it, so I'll have to figure that out uh, as it goes along. Um, but yeah, I've had a power outage or some sort of issue, um, and yeah, it, it's going to be split up. But yeah, we'll cover uh, the end of the pool plus top 24, like I said. There's a lot of crazy like top 20, uh, sorry, pool matches uh, that I really didn't want to skip. Um, as usual, these are completely cold watches, um, so I don't know who wins. Uh, but I did notice uh, while skipping through, I'm like, man... Like, this is a really big a really big game. It's like, we got... Uh, yeah, you, you'll see. I don't want to ruin anything. Um, if I make a mistake, please let me know. Time code to the comments and whatnot. Uh, apart from that, yeah, I guess let's go ahead and uh, jump into it. The stream quality is 720p, so unfortunately it's a little bit lower. Uh, so I will be... Oh, um, yeah, that's a launcher. Uh, okay, good. Pool's winner's final. That's what, I'm, uh, that's what I wanted to see. Yeah, so we have, we have like really big level uh, high play here. Okay, we have uh, Rafe uh, versus Kicking Machine. Okay, nice duck. Goes for the parry. Wow, good GFSR. He's probably dead. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. Short carry. No, not quite. I wonder if there was a kill line at the wall. Okay, good block on the low. Wow, down for one th uh, three challenge. So good. Okay, big start. Okay, back two. Nice parry on the back four option. Yeah, the back four is only minus ten. Luckily, I mean, Jin does have... Oh, beautiful parry on the Peacekeeper. Okay, yeah, I think he thought the wall was a little bit further, trying to get max damage. Okay, uh, Kicking Machine duck, but the 2-4 is meaty for, uh, I think, three frames. Yeah, Jin's 2-4 is absolutely insane. I haven't talked, I haven't ranted about it in a while. Uh, but if you look at the hitbox on 2-4, um, he actually starts from a low position to a high position. So he, like, swings his leg around from the whole distance. Okay, yeah, so far, uh, yeah, yeah. Kicking Machine trying to get this uh, backlash started, but Rafe just duck jabbing to option select it. I mean, that is going to leave him open to low crush, but we have to see the adjustment from Kicking Machine. Wow, what a challenge on the overhead. I don't know if the overhead's plus two or plus three. Uh, that's going to hit. Oh, low crush on the down four. You know what's funny is I don't know if if he had time to mash because the, the Razor hits on 13. I don't know if, if you can react to the the nice. option there. Wow, I'd have to look at take a look at that. That was a big uh, hell sweep though. Okay, side square out plus frame option. Okay, a little bit late on the delay. Yeah, even though you can delay a, a strings, it doesn't mean they are NC at max delay. Very few uh, strings actually have a proper delay. Uh, you know, max delay for NC. Yeah, usually that's how they balance it. So you can delay it, let's say, for 20 frames, but the NC frames are only hitting on, like, 15. Wow, big call-out from Kicking Machine. Bad combo, though. Okay, low high, low high. RFS cancel, forward four. Rafe not ready to mash out. Okay, see this one three. Just shy of the wall. I like the down four. Yeah, down four, I believe, uh, minus one on hit. So that's why you see Rafe immediately sidestep after. Okay, this is big. Oh, I, I don't feel like this is a good combo. Okay, even with the, the full hit. Yeah, he's just shy of the wall. Oh, my God. Down three, four, back four. You know, I, 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 I've been hit by that quite a few times, to be honest. I wonder if down three, four... Uh, yeah, Harong players, please correct me. I feel like it's NCC or something like that. I, I don't know. Because I'm definitely not trying doing anything, but at the same time, there's like this, this weird thing with the buffer system in this game, where even though you're you're in safety or can block, uh, wow, generic throw option, uh, still, you you can't actually like, I don't know, it's weird. Like Dragonov has this problem, same thing. He'll do up forward three, he'll be like minus eight, and literally if you hit the stick at all, like, 
Even like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You just get screwed. Okay, good patience from Kicking Machine, plus nine option while he canceled it. Now, the, the overhead option, I would imagine, can't be parry on hit, but I don't know. Yeah, Kicking Machine playing, oh man, big CS1 plus two. Playing really conservative there. I would imagine if you can duck it, you can parry it, but on hit, I don't know if you can parry it. Oh, nice counter hit. Okay. Yeah, he is in stance for the 443 was slower. If he was in LFF, he would have been fine. Okay, overhead option. There you go. My turn. Should be an easy kill. 1 T4 back to 1, probably. Oh, yeah, look at this. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Yeah, he was afraid of the, the drop out there. It's kind of scary because that's kind of similar to what Kicking Machine did. Oh, big hop kick. Yeah, he did back forward instead of a back two. Back two probably would have worked. Okay, applying pressure. Nice low pair on incoming down back four. Good read. Okay, yeah, that's a bad wall. That diagonal uh, wall cannot be broken. Okay, RFS canceling. Yeah. Every single hit uh, during power crush, again, adds on an extra 10 frames. So certain jabs recover really quickly, and certain jabs don't. In that case, like, uh, realistically, like, any characters, one, two jabs will probably be fine, except for Dragonov. But, um... Yeah, yeah, you basically, um, your whip, your attacks count as whiffs, but as the opponent eats it through the armor, it's adding on 10 extra frames of recovery. So in that case, 1-2 is uh, 20 frames. And I assume, minus 10, perfect. Wave option, stand for, wall's right there, he's going to break it. Yes, he is. 3 plus 4? Oh, no, he doesn't want the wall positioning. Wow, wave in? Hey, yeah, that was a raw back three, so minus 17, Mi minus 17, 16 or 17. It doesn't matter. It'll take it. Large time option. Good pair on incoming. Okay, betting it all. I like the down. Whoa. Non? Oh. Non electric, so he doesn't get a launching uh, hook. Uh, and then, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Follow up with LRK for pressure. Okay, big duck into 1 plus 2. Oh, no. Not quite a wall infinite. Okay, he's bleeding. Okay, there we go. Ah. Goes for the disrespect 4, the BT4. Oh, oh, oh what a read on JFSR. Huge. Which is especially huge because JFSR is minus 9. Okay, from downtown, LRK. Pressing in. Nice uh, micro step. Down 3 3, do it again. Okay, good pressure. Oh, yeah, I'm safe. That one he can parry, yeah. So, I guess on block, which makes sense, you can't uh, go for the third hit because everyone can parry it. Assuming you have a parry, of course. Although, not every character has like a. Um, what's where I'm looking for? You know, has a. Uh, kick Sabaki or kick parry. So, very rare mechanic, but there are a few with them. Okay, Air Richie versus Goonie. Like Cassadia, like this. Look at this. Oh, nice punish. Yeah, like this is a winner's final match. This is crazy. <laughs> Ao Richie and Goonie. It's crazy as fuck. Okay, C plan. We're going to do chase down. Goes right for it again. I respect that. Okay, big whiff on the BOK too. Pressing in. I like it. Yeah, back one is, or down one is also really valuable against uh, big boy characters. That counter hit tool. Down two is, is pretty good, but counter hit down one is so, so much better. Okay, I like it. Backdash away, runs right into a sidestep too, unfortunately. Bad luck for Richie. Okay, big whiff, but yeah, too far away to apply any sort of pressure. Leo's um, launcher range and Jax are very similar. Leo is just shy of Jax, I believe, uh, and hers is only minus 13. Okay, big pickup. Okay, probably not going to see a reset. Okay. A 4 2, good patience. Back sway out, and uh, Goonie's dead. Yeah, simple BOK2. Goes for an up forward 1 1 line instead, which is perfectly fine. Okay, poke out. Nice running three. Hit him with the dab. Good uh, step guard there for CC option from Richie. Wow, and also perfectly threading out of there. Interesting. Richie doing up forward one to crouch cancel with the diagonal cancel. Okay, goes for the reset, drops it, or he wanted, I guess, a manual K and K drop. Okay, nice low parry, easy kill. 
Yeah, so far, uh, Goonie is really feeling the pressure. So how I talked about how, like, their down four twos are very similar, except Leo is a safer. Um, yeah, Leo, definitely more of a scrappier character who has nearly equivalent range to Jack. Not to mention she actually has uh, stances and whatnot. Stances that are harder for Jack to deal with. The inability to sidestep left to beat, like, a uh, and k option is really big. Okay, up for 1-1. Yeah, ducking that is a little bit scary, uh, simply because the... Wow, <laughs> okay. Uh, simply because, yeah, there is a mid option, too. Okay, Jack Hammer out. Goonie, as long as he stays patient, he'll get this. Oh, big, though. Nice orbital follow-up. Yeah, he just needs to chill out. Big whip and ah, good big bet. Good call round round out. Yeah, unfortunately, the down four two plus three completely missed Goonie. I don't know if he did a full back dash or if he just, you know, big boy uh, problem. Wow, nice KK three to jump the low. Okay, what do you want to do? Forward uh, for KK entrance two, big whiff. There we go. Might as well do the pressure. KK one plus two is completely safe on block. And then on counter it, I think it's a full launch too. Kind of similar to, um, what is he called? Uh, Leroy 4 for 4 too. Okay, big KNK2, nice stuck on the incoming. Richie trying to catch Goonie offsides. Catch him sleeping. Wow. Backdash is so strong in seven. Okay, big 50 50 for the win. Nice uh, challenge there from Goonie. Yeah, I like it. Taste for blood. Go for the very simple I-12 low. Keep in mind the down back one does not actually hit grounded. Uh, so that was completely reading against AO. Uh, Richie just not move or trying to flinch or attack out or anything. Okay, BBP, full splat. Nice hit. Good combo line we're going to go for. Chase down 3-2 input error, I imagine. Yeah, I think you want an instant wall. Instant, uh, like, uh, stand three. Ooh, all in. Okay. Yeah, QCF T1, that's a safe oh, option in that position. Jack's not going to sidestep that. Wow, all in with the debug. And what's funny is I don't think that was the fast debug. That looks slow. <laughs> yeah, if you perform the debug 1 plus 2, you get the rage drive. It hits on frame 22. And if you don't do the 22 frame 1, I believe it's 27. Now, granted, it's still, like, it's easy to see it. But at the same time, it feels really hard to see debug. In the corner now, Rich, you gotta take advantage of this. Okay, cancel option. Goes for the orbital. Keep in mind, oh, orbital is a uh, counter hit launcher only. Uh -oh, Not a missed. really proper orbital. Four, four, wow, body He's press is so down. scary. Oh, nice. Okay, Goonie feeling himself. Yeah, AO's not really getting any more. Well, okay, that, that starts though. Nice. Wow, the down plus two. Okay, sure. Ball's great. Richie. He has the wall again. Can he get the okay, max the damage. Ooh, wow. Forward four from CUNY. Ooh, fair, by the way. King K1-2. Safe wall bounce. Uh, the first hit is a high. So, yeah, you can't duck it. We have been seeing use uh, Richie doing quite a few King uh, K3s, though. More than, I'd say, the average player. Yeah, it's been whiffing a lot. Nice. Okay, big King K drop. Although at that range, I don't think even King K3 would hit. Okay, flip over Oki. Pressing in. Safe option. The Bari hop kick is big. Uh, Goonie with one more hit left. Whoa, four for two. Nice off crouch cancel. A little bit scary in that position, but Goonie realistically is probably going to respect the minus five or whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to say, don't, don't give Goonie too much space. If you ever don't, if you're not quite sure what to do, just stand open field. Like here's open field, right? Where now, granted, in T7, like everyone can get to the wall, but still, like you take away the possibility of random wall bounces and shit like that. Fucking your day up. Okay, pressing in, K and K3 or BOK3. My apologies. That is also Leo's wall crush. Wow, sidestep two, nice keep out. Good. Okay, small combo is better than nothing. Good shit there, Richie. Okay, under it. A 4-1 crouch cancel Close. option. I like that. Mixing in uh, the instant stand oh, pressure the off of um, uh, BOK transitions yes, is really smart. Really good play from Richie. Okay, yeah, like I said, Richie seemed to find his groove there. Can Goonie uh, make a comeback? 
Yeah, open field uh, definitely favors Jack, but at the same time, nice. it's not like Richie or Leo's bad open field. I take it back. Leo's terrible open field. Her damage is trash, yeah. Yeah, she's like Lars, except worse when it comes to open field damage. At least Lars is kind of... He gets pretty good Oki nowadays, while with low parry. Yeah, Leo really doesn't get much of anything. Yeah, they never updated her, her open field playstyle. Like they did with like everyone else in the game. I mean, even Jack Ford one two one is good damage and good Oki. But yeah, Leo never got anything. And it worst of all, her four four K and K cancels are so bad. Like, what are you supposed to do with four four K and K cancel? It's one of the hardest combos in the game and does no fucking damage. Okay, big, yeah. Whoa, good recognition from Richie that uh, the four four three wasn't gonna hit. Okay, anti-sidestep tool, forward one. Richie with the manual backdash uh, K and K transition. Okay, who's going to crack first? That's the question. Okay, it's Goonie. Okay, big hell sweep. Outside of rage is perfect. Nice backdash and beautiful low period. That's an easy kill. Yeah, forward four. Uh, then you hold down forward to cancel K and K. And then wall stand one plus two. One round away from okay, check out non-counter at Lucky. Uh, Goonie didn't go for... Punish, yes. Okay, nice punish. Perfect. That forward pursuit is really consistent. Other characters like Dragonov get big shit, but forward pursuit is fine. Okay, good patience. That up forward 2-1 uh, is uh, steppable, although it might be difficult for Jack. Also, uh, Leo can transition off of up forward 2 into be okay. So it's not like she uh, doesn't have anything in... Worst of all, she can just do up forward too, right? Oh man, big! Not a kill. Is Gooding and go for a baseball slide? I would hell, hell a slide here. Ooh, okay, the jump. I respect the jump. Forward three. Oh, baited. Okay, that should hit, and that's probably a kill. Yes, it is. Yeah, like I said, good adjustment from Richie. Uh, you can tell right away at the end of that, at the the second game, it was it was over. Goonie's very good, um, but like the question is, what does Goonie really have to answer in that position, right? Okay, uh, Nino, uh, two thousand three versus Jod. Nino, uh, in case you don't know, has been tearing up on ICFC. Consistently top three for a while now. Or wild enough. Okay, I like these up the up forward force uh, from uh, Jod here. Counter it launcher plus frame option due to panda size. Holy shit, good combo. Um, very difficult to escape. Whoa, dashing a forward two. Okay, or down forward two. Spicy. Oh no! Jod bet up forward two right as Nino transitioned into HBS. Oh, big boy combo. Look at the damage. Okay, good break. One chance left for Nino. Yeah, he needed he all in back forward to try and get the launcher. I respect that. He literally has no time to get anything going. And as long as Jod doesn't attack, um, he's not going to run to like a forward one one. Oh, okay, I I don't think you confirmed that, but it looked like he did the HPS down forward one one. Okay, good duck on the uh, HPS throw the forward pursue. All in, I like it. Down by two, counter checking. That's the one of the big things that you kind of have to make the adjustment for if you've never really played against Bear before, uh, is just how fucking far they hit you. Bear TP. Oh man, misconfirm on the forward two, but no duck from Nino. Okay, yeah, that's safe. The full crouch uh, down one. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I, I believe. Oh my god, he got the hard combo. Ooh, good low parry. I think it's plus zero. Okay, in this context, this is a bad combo. That's a terrible combo. Is that gets him out of the wall? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Video number two, top right, or video number one, top right corner. <laughs> yeah, with context, that was a horrible combo because Jod could possibly get a kill going. Also, shout out to Jod. He just got the. Oh man, big. Um, he did get uh, he uh, nosebleed cancel or nosebleed stun break. Um, against the nosebleed, that was hella good. Also, I also want to go back to the, the second round, because that was a fucking fast round. Uh, yeah, Nino got the forward and plus two into instance wall stand four, which is difficult. So basically, forward and plus two, uh, 
this move here, okay. orbs two, minus 15, he could do four orbs two, one plus two, which minus uh, 13. You have some parry Sabaki on incoming. Uh, minus 15 though, right? Very long range 50, uh, option. And then instant wall stand for pick up, and four plus two, one plus two again. And then unfortunately, uh, Nino got low slump here. And then he bets on single uh, HPS one, which then allowed Ja to, to get the uh, kill there, which is unfortunate, but... I mean, that whole ser that whole se uh, sequence was really high level. Okay, what the fuck just happened here? Did he duck Demic 3? He must have ducked Demic... Sorry, Demic 2. Demic 3 is, I think, minus 12. Ah, okay, he bets it on the HPS 1, too. Oh, big trade. Huge for Jod. I like Jod taking the simple down to uh, 3 or down to 4, whatever it is. That way you don't have to do any sort of special combo. Okay, there you go. Drops the combo. Difficult. It's very hard. Okay, light punish on the trap knee. That's minus 14. Yeah, Neen actually has quite a few 14 options. She's one of those characters who has like... Everything is like plus 2 or minus 2 or minus 14. There's no in between with her. Yeah, she's definitely one of those characters. It's it's weird. I, I, I'm not a fan of the balance myself. Okay, J Nino playing way from fucking behind. He needs to get something going now. And the way Jod's playing, he's not going to really run into a G-Clef, so... This is definitely one of those invisible down fours. Ah, sidestep 2 to beat the HBS transition again. Yeah, it's one of these, uh, get the down four going, generic, uh, bear down four, or generic, sorry, uh, jack down four. Uh, so it's minus ten. Okay, nice combo, STFU, yes. Okay, bets it again, safe option. No punish on the up forward three. Big stand four, yeah, bear has a stand four combo. I don't like this meter usage. Okay, especially without the unskill hit. Wow, what a, what a jump back. Why back, that's when you can jump. Goes in for the slide. From downtown. Ah, oh, there we go. Good punish. Oh, down three. Let's go. Well, I like to chase down a two one option there from Nino. Okay, Nino starting to get something going. Oh, no punish from Jot at all. All it takes is one round to get that momentum. I'm telling you. Good step. Big counter at Demic 3. Oh, solo down down 3. I respect that. Okay, Nino right outside Rage. Shot outside Rage 2, though. 50-50. Oh, okay. Hits him with the, the Jack shenanigans. Full crouch down 1, down 2, I think it is. Or full crouch forward 1, down 2. Sorry. Safe option. Nice. Pick up. Okay, what do you go for? Okay, back three and wake up. Okay, I don't, I don't hate it. Oh my god, these stand fours. I wonder if Nino would just do forward one. <laughs> like, would he have better success here? His stand four with Panda, I want to say 14. Okay, that's a kill. Yeah, good night. Yeah, no need to even go for the hard shit. Good, good uh, recognition on the situation. Keep in mind the forward one pursuit is minus 15, but still, uh, your opponent has to punish it. I, I talk about it all the time. But, uh, yeah, there's a reason why, like, joke characters and, like, low, low tier characters are low tier. Um, Bear, a ton of things are launch punishable. Like, if, if, if there's a bear who's, like, menacing you, go into practice mode or go into your favorite app. Nice sidestep 2 to beat the incoming stand for. Um, yeah, go, go to your websites and take a look at all the frame data of Panda and see how poor Panda's frame data is. Oh, nice down. Ah, that's a kill. That's a kill. Oh, no. Nice. Very quick run for John. Shutting down the momentum that Nino had. But yeah, knee, uh, pan oh, forward one, sidestep two again. Uh, sidestep two is only minus 14, so it's not horrible against Panda. Best Panda can do, I believe, is forward two one. Technically, Panda bear, like, belly bump hits on 14, but forward two one is probably more valuable. Sidewalks the slide, but no punish. Okay, John getting an early lead, but Nino is pulling it back. That uh, combo drop might kill Jod here. Okay, keep out forward one. Nice block on the Dalmic too. Yeah, that's minus 13. Oh, so scary. Nah, Nino's dead. Oh, no, the last hit was exactly enough. Oh, shit, how fortunate. That's crazy. Wow, Nino open checking with forward one again. 
Bro, what if John did sidestep to you four, three times in a row? What would you do? I don't want to jinx it, but I guess this lose. Okay, nice. Uh, do it again. Okay, no break on one plus two. Wall positioning is great for Jod. I'm surprised he didn't charge in. Okay, keep doing it. I like it. Yeah, might as well keep doing... Uh, oh. oh my god. Yeah, jumping attacks. Uh, like orbital style jumping attacks. They're like basically grounded for like a frame or so. It's dumb. I hate that. That happens all the time when you're playing uh, like Noctis and shit. I mean, that was a right read from Nino, but unfortunately, yeah, you, you fall into the low. One of the many reasons so there's a, no problem with this game. Okay, who is going to take this? Nino has the momentum, but Jod has the reads. Wow, HPS 3 is so scary. What are you doing? Okay, he's not going to die for it, though. Okay, press in. Wow. Let's him out for free. HPS 3 again against Nina is so absurd. Also, those forward rolls are not safe, by the way. <laughs> those aren't rolls safe at all against Nina. Okay, bets it all. HPS down for 1 1, no reaction. Keep in mind, uh, while Panda does have wall stand 1 1 and wall stand 1 2, HPS uh, does not have that possibility. Okay, full splat. Big boy combo. Cross up, possibly? Yeah, the cross up. Yeah, he didn't recognize the cross up. That was a huge mistake. Yeah, so um, because of the bear sizes, uh, you know, uh, big upper body, low, you know, small lower body, that allows you to do these like insanely long combos. Because once again, the it, the longer it takes you to touch the ground, um, the, the, you know, the, the fast, like, or sorry, the longer it takes you to touch ground, the shorter you are, basically, the longer the, the wall combo can actually be. The problem is, in this position, he didn't recognize that he would cause himself to cross up, in which case, Panda, out of this position, uh, face up, feet away, F-U-F-T, um, one plus two, guarantees to another one. So, he, unfortunately, yeah, I mean, what can you do? He didn't recognize the situation. But, uh, seeing as how, how many big combos Jod have, he probably should have, but, hey, you know, uh, pressure gets to you. Yeah, but I mean, like I said, Nino has been terrorizing ICFC for for months now. So no surprise, he's at winner side top 24 right now. We'll see. Okay, Sefi Black versus Ru Kang. A nice punish. Oh my god, Sway 3. Oh, do it again? Let's see it again. Okay, big check. Nice. Yeah, uh, Bob without a punch parry or any sort of sabaki has to hold that. Uh, he does have one of the best backsways in the game when it comes to general evasiveness. Uh, the problem with his his backsway is it doesn't actually launch. Okay, 4 for 2 2, just shy of the wall. I like the um, sav cancel there. You can diagonal cancel a sav, which means you can do things like down forward 4 out of sav, which is really strong because sometimes you need a knee. Okay, nice hit. Okay, no step, but yeah, it takes the punish. Oh, really? Is that minus 11, though? Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't rage art. If I was Sefi, I would rage art there. As soon as he deep step, he could rage art even fine. And Miguel takes a step forward. Yeah, you, you can make the argument because um, off of that uh, rage drive, Bob can basically roll cancel it. But uh, with the wall positioning there, the rage art would be guaranteed. But whatever, he want to take the, the safer route. That's fine. Ooh, four for four. Oh, let's go. Whoa, wall bounce. Bad combo, though. Uh-oh. 150-50. Okay, feeling the pressure. S wants to say how a little bit of how you do you. That's fine. Oh, a little bit short of the Cracker Jacker 4. A nice, good natural movement here from Sefi. Good uh, duck from Rue King. Okay. It bets it all. Wow, nice hop knee or hop kick. Okay, not the best combo. Uh, Sefi won the 4-4-2. He got 4-2 instead. Oh, good, good. Duck jab out. Okay, Ruke. Oh, that 4 3 2 is so good. That move is so good. Wow, just to have like a, a super long range mid mid that causes Asta on counter aid is so good. Wow, 4 2 opener. Okay. Okay, beautiful low parry. Look at the, the combo line, too. Sav 4, Sav up 4, 3, short carry. Okay, spiking option. Nice. Uh, chase down, down forward 1. Okay, no reaction from Root King against the uh, relax, or sorry, the Sav 1, 4. Nice punish. Oh, 
Sav three, re sav down back two. Oh my god, for the punch parry. Okay, let's go downstairs. A little bit knockdown action. Oh my god, these parries on down back three. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, a little bit too far from the wall, unfortunately. Oh, I like the running four. I didn't realize he'd have time to go for that. Good shit. A okay, one two four sav drop goes for the sav two. Sav two is safe, so why, might as well. Oh, okay, good chase down from Rukang. Rukang needs to st uh, start going. So, okay, bet slow. Yeah, takes a still pedal. It might be better in that position for Miguel to go for sav down for two though. I would imagine because um, I talked about it before how. When you do the fall down stance with Bob, the down forward one, one plus two, um, the position that Bob is left in makes it such that if you fuck up your input and they do like a launcher, you you die. Because you don't fall to the ground with your feet first, you fall uh, with your head first. Okay, nice punish, minus 16 on hell sweeps. That's correct. Oh, yeah, because with Miguel, down forward two hits on 16. So, so certain times you, you like kind of brain fart when you should be four, uh, 15 on for hop kick and... You'll try to TP them, and then you're launch punishable. Okay, very light punish. Okay, Sefi kind of feeling the pressure. Rukang with one more chance. Bet oh, okay, okay, okay. Good call out from Rukang. Yeah, Sefi not finishing his plate. He dropped a combo and started freaking out. Okay, I like it. Sav up 4-3 is so good. Even though, uh, like, uh, after Sav down back three, uh, I believe it's only plus three. Uh, but even though, or it's either plus three or plus four. Okay, this is big, actually. But Sav 043 with the low crushing counter at launcher, you can duck jab out and you don't get counter at launcher. It's not terrible. Oh, big back three, and that's a kill. Oh, that is not a good combo, but that's fine. Down back, down two, three, back three, okay. Yeah, I mean, four, three, three plus four, easy kill. But I guess it doesn't matter. That's a kill, too. Ooh, Sefi flinched. Like I said, not finishing the plate here. Big back one. Okay, Axie problem. He has to go for a Sav 4 uh, combo. Good recognition from Sefi. Uh-oh. Turn steal out. Big whiff. Oh, good block. Terrible punish. That's minus 15, and Bob has a 15 nowadays. Uh-oh. Okay, feeling the pressure. Keep calm. Side, we'll away from the wall. Nice, yeah. yeah four four two with Bob is not plus. It looks like it's plus, but it's false advantage. Yeah, it, it is definitely negative on 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 block. Okay, top twenty four. Oh well, the Joka too. I I didn't see Joka in the. Yeah, I didn't see him. He must have been maybe on uh, maybe off stream or something. Okay, Joka versus Rafe. Wow, oh, nice. Back to one option. See this one too, sure. Chase down, down four. I, I do like the down four from, from Joka here. Yeah, in this position, uh, Rafe would typically go for sidestep left, but due to wall positioning, uh, that's off the table. But the down four on 14 with Thing is perfect. Okay, tries to get the infinite going. Oh, punch out. Let's go. Okay, good block. Yeah, unfortunately, only minus 12. Raw shoulder too far. No duck. No punish. Either way, no one's punishing shit. Okay, good patience for Joka. Plus frame option. Ghost corpse thrust. Ah, nice low parry. Nice. Uh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Stopping the bleeding. Good back one. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? What the fuck is that? Okay, good recognition from Rafe. Oh, wow. Side sways right into the back one. Okay, huge. That should be a kill. Oh, a little bit. Not the best combo. One more chance for Rafe. Ah, nah, he bets. Okay, good patience. Yeah, he either bets or uh, input error. It's hard to say. Yeah, usually at that range with Fang... Um, only type of approach that would be really oh, pertinent there would be like headbutt. Wow. A good punish, minus 13, perfect. Okay, I like the back force. Oh, 
Yeah, the uh, CDS transition uh, to interrupt uh, 1 plus 2, I think, is 13. So a uh, down forward 1 with Fang doesn't work. I don't believe. It might, but I don't believe. Wow. Oh, big sight stuff for easy kill. Nice. 33 billy for. Wow, so scary. Yeah, Rafe is doing Rafe things, trying to get the, the parry timing going, but so far, Joke is having a pretty good time uh, varying his offense. Okay, chase down option. You can see it. Rafe is feeling the pressure. A good movement and duck, but where is the punish, though? Oh, man. Big keep out back four as well. And the duck and the duck and the duck. Ah. Yeah, Fang is just really, really good, and you can see the frustration on Rafe. It's sorry, yeah, I, I know it's not pronounced quite like that. I don't know if it's like Rafe or what, but my apologies ahead of time. Okay, big side set four. You saw in that uh, position, uh, Rafe was trying to parry, and that's why he ate the low. Ooh, nice back four. Chase down Demon Paw. Oh, good call out. Oh, big back three. Is he dead? Oh, he really optimized the damage on that. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, again, though. Do it back four. I like it. Okay, that's it. One plus two knockdowns. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder if the two... I mean, the one plus two probably does more damage, but the value of having the opponent right next to you at two four might be even better. Wow, generic throw. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, in uh, Tekken 8, 1 plus 2 will be a heat engager. So, uh, again, that means Jin is going to have a 12 frame launching, of, you know, heat burst or whatever you want to call it, heat dash. It's going to be crazy. The good news is you only get one heat dash now um, because they got rid of the chains. They used to call it heat energy, but it doesn't make any sense. A staggered offense that does invite... Uh, oh, the parry the from yeah, Joker though. Right uh -oh. Down for 2-2. Oh, oh wall bounce. Oh, he yeah, he didn't think the wall was there uh, close enough. Ah, oh, uh, I, I respect that because I thought the wall was too far too. And then as soon as it happened, he panicked like, oh shit. Yeah, wall bounces are really, really over-tuned in this game. I'm glad they're, I, I'm really glad they're gone. Like, does this game really need more launchers? Probably not. But yeah, if Joker was ready, he might have got the kill. Okay, open field. Bang with the probably better mobility over Jin. At least the back tempo stance allows for him to evade incoming. Okay, there you go. 4-4 four, four, CDS transition. And then uh, Rafe held the Zen stance. Allowed Joker to whiff the back one. And then confirm the 1 plus 2 out. Okay, big. Yeah, a little bit too far for the down 4-3 option. Big whiff. Back to 1. Oh, I like the down for Oh. Yeah, hook kick back for It was a nice little clean sequence. Oh, what a parry. What a reaction from Rafe. The parry into the can-can is ugly. Okay, out of the air. Going back the other way. Okay. Tip range down for I like it. I mean, the jab is very safe, right, to convert. Ooh. I get it. Snake dash under. Nice. Oh, big. Yeah. Okay, Joker going into rage. Okay, chase down there. option. Oh, man, didn't get out of okay, four. big. Yeah, down four is not a kill here. You should be looking for down back four. Nice. Got him on the wall, sending one again. Ah. Uh, yes. Snake dash, full crouch yeah, option. Big Keep big in big mind, big generic full crouch is... Uh, our launch. So if you read it, if you read any sort of low, and they're in full crouch, yeah, you can always just launch it. Yeah, a little bit of turn stealing action. Light punish on that whiff back one. Okay, my turn. We're going to go for it. Okay, goes for the BT3. Nice delayed side roll out of there. Taking the pressure off of Rafe. Okay, CS1-3. What are we going to go for? Wavu, wavu. Wow, hard duck on the incoming down four. What a read. Big trade. Oh, good patience. He had the parry on the two slide one, uh, but he decided to play it safe and 
waited for the second hit from Joka. It's funny because we had seen that sequence earlier. Uh, I didn't mention it, but we saw that sequence earlier where if Joka let the two slide one rock, he probably would have killed Rafe. So that that was big. Good call out from Rafe. Yeah, Joka bleeding LRK from downtown. Not quite a kill. One touch away. Down four is. A, yep, there it is. <laughs> Down four is so annoying. <laughs> Good shit, good shit. Yeah, down four is chef's kiss. Good. <laughs> that move is so good. <laughs> because, yeah, I think in, like, season two or whatnot, uh, it used to be minus 13, but then they made it minus 12. And seeing as how not very many characters have walls down 12, it's a pretty big deal. Okay, we've got A.R. Richie versus H.K. Jr. Now part of FaZe Clan. Okay, pumping. Back to open field. I like the back pour from Heihachi. Nice uh, 4 for 2 to challenge the 1 4 of all options. Strange. Okay, poke out. Okay, good patience from Richie. Playing from behind, but no need to freak out yet. Ooh, the down 4 3, though. I like spicy. Oh, good backdash light punish from Richie. Or, sorry, face. Damn it, I can't talk. Okay, I think Leo can 442 Heiachi 442. Although at tip, maybe not. Uh, maybe forward to pursue? Forward to pursue, I think it's on 16. Although that might have range problems. Okay, Richie's in trouble. Yeah, forced to go all in. Good patience, good recognition from uh, HK Jr. Yeah, with with eight seconds to go without a wall, I mean, Leo is dead. She's a just dead character. Yeah, it, with a wall, eh, maybe, maybe, but still, Leo's damage is kind of poor. So yeah, this is definitely unfortunate for Richie. The start on this map. Okay, no punish. Yeah, the wall stand 3-1 uh, is minus 10. The fear of the last hit is always there, uh, which is a high. Although it's a little bit less valuable for H, uh, HK to duck, you know, to read specifically against the last hit. Wall stand 3 might be fast enough on 17 or 18, but it is one of the slower wall stand launchers. So usually if your character has, like, mediocre punish on a single part of the string, it's better to challenge early than not. Then let it through. Okay, what a check to challenge. Okay, beautiful punish. Minus 16. We talked about that earlier. L sweeps. The last hit's always 16. First hit is usually minus 23 or 24. Uh, and the second hit is 16. Okay, double poke out. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, Richie doing quite a lot of uh, jab checks. He has to be careful. Uh, Heihachi does have Rice Dance for 3 plus 4, which is a auto parry. And then uh, in T7, uh, you can cancel the stance by tapping down. Is that a kill? Oh, Leo. Oh, no! What are you doing? <laughs> From downtown. If uh, HK was just like a pixel to the left, he would have been fine. Holy shit. Okay, good punish. Good punish again. Hey, HK, I wouldn't say quite freaking out yet, but he's hitting buttons now. Okay, back away. It, you know, Richie maintain this lead. Don't need to overcommit. Wow, nice input. The instant uh, full crouch down for a three was such, so good. Okay, there you go. Good punish. Okay, looking pretty clean. Okay, bets it all. 20 seconds to go. Oh, no. Back four out of the air. That is a spin attack as well as a counter launcher. Hmm, keep out QCF 2 1. Nice. Might as well. You have a bunch of safe strings, just do it. And I don't know if Heihachi can sidestep back one four anyway. Okay, big down one counter hit. Combo drop, unfortunately. Ooh, down four one interrupting the low. Okay, chase down. Slight plus frames goes for the back four. Probably looking back for just for anti sidestep. Okay, hit him with the dab. Yeah, counter it, confirmable, of course. Yeah, I think he's looking for a sidestep specifically. Okay, nice punish. Wow, what a challenge. 
Ridge Drive available though. Heihachi with the Ridge Drive. If he okay. Gets HK playing far from behind yeah, now. Man. Big yeah. call out on he the Weibu Hell Sweep. Right. He Clean from Richie. Really... No. Yeah, with your health and your time. Okay. Game, uh, after hole, Richie ball, getting forward two instead of four forward two and just <laughs> let the second hit rock. Oh, nice. I respect that. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Oh no. Ashes in. Uh oh. Okay, big splat. 50 50. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, 50 50. Oh, and he bet mid. Nice. Yeah, that uh, the key chart stance with Leo um, it has a mid, uh, so back 3 1. And then when she's key charged, she has an extension with 2, uh, which is the blue spark. And then she has the. Uh, oh man, that's a kill. He's a kill. Yeah, he could have even done like 4 2 3 short carry. Uh, or sh uh, low down back three, uh, two, scary, you know, it, it's three, no down back like four, one, two, or something like that. So I smash out one plus two. I don't know. So nice four, four, yeah, Keep in mind uh, that long. even though the animations there really on block, uh, it's really, really yes. punishable in multiple ways. So it, it's punishable in the sense that you in key charge you can't block, uh, but more importantly, uh, yeah, it's uh, really bad on, you know. Um, on block by itself, I think I want to say oh, it's it somewhere like minus there. 23, 24 ish. Uh, Sorry, the mid, not even the low. Although, uh, another kind of asterisk here. Oh, bad punish! Oh, and he's dead! He could have, he could have, uh, I think 1 1 2 there. Yeah, 1 1 2 would have splatted because this is Tekken 7. He would have won. Oh well. Okay, big, yeah. Yeah, HK Jr. not looking to punish the 4 for 4 of 3. Ooh, nice high spot combo. They okay, probably could have a little bit better, but the unscale is fine. Okay, challenging out. Back one four, yeah. Or one plus four, sorry. Okay, dab. Ah. Yeah, HK Jr. feeling the pressure. Richie uh, gas pulling for uh, some extent, but at the same time, doing a really good job of letting off the gas to let uh, HK Jr. hang himself. Ooh, my turn. Nice hit. Okay, big. Good pickup. Okay, wall. Okay. 50-50. Hit him with a dab anyway. I like that. Oh. Well, if HK Jr. had meter... He does. Wall. Okay, wall crush. <laughs> Keep in mind, probably one of the worst wall crush in the game. Doesn't really do anything. Okay, good punish, only minus 10. Wow. Damn, Richie trying to use that plus frames. HK said no. Keep in mind, Richie didn't mash out there. Uh, I, he, I think he just immediately try to sidestep and get something going, but good uh, presence of mind from HK. Okay, this is the chance HK needs. Can he close this? If I close this, sorry, I mean go to second game or third game. Okay, good block on, good block and punish. Oh my god. Infinite. Oh no, wrong way. Okay, oh, good duck on the third hit. Yeah, so the, the final hit is either a mid or a high. The problem is the third hit is always a high, so technically you can just punish the third hit. You don't have to worry about the 50-50 when you can just duck it. Oh, look at the damage on the dab! Okay, okay, he had a little bit less than I thought he did. Yeah, good shit there, Richie. I mean, Richie pulled that shit back, man. He, he definitely deserved that. Oh, we got uh, Nino versus Kawas, looks like. Yeah, Nino 2003 versus Kawas. Uh, oh, okay, uh, yeah, the first bad. hit of, uh, what do you call it? So, it's, it's something interesting about windmill punches. Yeah, the first hit and second hit of windmill punches are really negative. I want to say there's 16. Whereas the later hits of windmill punches are safer. Uh, obviously, the last hit's a high, but the penultimate uh, hit is still minus 11. So, even though you they don't do the high, um, you can still, like, 11 frame them. With that being said, uh, most care Oh, big. That's a kill. Damage is still going. This is not a good combo. Going, 
Yeah, he might have been able to kill, but doesn't matter. He still takes it. Yeah, after the single HBS down forward one off of transition after the third hit, yeah, he should have immediately popped the meter. Okay, good low parry. Okay, stand four. Well, like the down forward four option. Wow, HBS down forward one from downtown. Again, what the fuck? <laughs> that has so much range. A nice backdash. Cancel. Ooh! Under the back four, and it missed for some reason. Oh, good patience. I think Nino did HBS down two. I'm not sure. Oh, 10 string? I'm going to say we do 10 string. Uh, yeah, so keep in mind, Harong does have a parry. The wall stand is not a mix-up uh, to Harong. The wall stand one option. With that being said, uh, Nino can just do a single wall stand one. Just because you can OS, keep in mind, you can OS a, a string or a 50-50 you know, of a string. Doesn't mean you. It's like get all oh, big. Doesn't mean it's like means shit. <laughs> Let's keep that in mind. You don't have to do something. Yeah, he wanted the reset. I respect that. A okay, nice sidestep out. He needs to be careful. Oh, he got him. Oh, is he grabbing? Oh, he tries to windmill punch through, but no. <laughs> Good read from Kwis. Good read. It's nice having a safe rage as well, right? It looked like he was trying to grab, but windmill punches too. Okay, nice duck on the HBS forward four, or sorry, the RFS forward four, sorry. Okay, no duck on the incoming. Big lifter. Okay, wall's not great, unfortunately. Ooh, good interrupt. That's it? Okay, are you going to pop the meter here? Oh, he wants a reset. No punish. Okay, so my point being that's minus 11. Yeah, you can just duck jab it. Most characters can duck jab OS it. You don't have to guess the 50-50 if they're going to do it or not. If if you're feeling really spicy, yeah, you can take the, the 11 frame, but that's why like 2D is so strong in quite a few matchups. Is Yeah, you don't have to deal with 50-50s. You just duck jab and then either do blue palm, duck jab, uh, oh, big 4-4-2. Four, four, you know, uh, duck jab into D, uh, you know, dragon punch, shit like that. Wow, oh, wow, beating the back uh, one there, the power crush. Plus frame option counter hit. Oh, high. Okay, nice. K was not dead. Oh, big, and that's a kill, yeah. That's the one nice thing, actually, uh, with Panda running four or Bear running four. Uh, the uh, FUFT. Or if you have A, sorry, 1 plus 2 is guaranteed. Oh my god, yo, he was ducking for days. Okay, hit him low. Nice step on down back 3, or down back 2, sorry. Light punish could be definitely better. Wow, the chase down with HBS is, is crazy. Oh, okay, up three plus four. Gonna hit him with the orbital, sure. Okay, going downstairs. You gotta be careful here, though. Okay, lets him up. Lots frames. Okay, so here's an interesting tidbit about Bear. Bear, for some reason, has a bug move, and their bug move is up back four. Oh, uh, no break. Oh, get him, yeah. Uh, not guaranteed, keep that in mind, not guaranteed. Anymore, the bears, you know, just too big. Low option, fishing, trying to get the mid option, good confirm, and down back four, ouch. A nice pullback. Yeah, so uh, Panda does have up back four, and it's bugged. Okay, no break on the command one. Okay, nice punish. Are we going to see a reset? Okay. HPS down forward one into a body splash, sure. Good challenge, bets it RFF 4-4. Four, four. Okay, nice punish. Wall is actually pretty good. Okay, not dead, 150-50 for the win. Okay, not quite a 50-50. Nice movement. Big back four and Nino's dead. <laughs> that should hit, yes. Wow, what a back four. Yeah, that was a really uh, tremendous read from KWIS.
Tekken 3, excuse me. Okay. Four, wow, roll down four yeah. Rumpasu. Yeah. Wants a roll mix up. Goes for roll four. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, hard commits duck right into a JFSR. Thank God slopes aren't in Tekken anymore. Oh my God. There's okay, good enough, challenge. Like, stuff in this game, you know? <laughs> good block. Equation, no thanks, you know? Big whiff on the lifter. No pun. Okay, low high. Oh, big back four. Damn, Nino caught ducking. Okay, running one plus two. Oh. Okay, probably going to take the bet butt bump. Yes. Yeah, just take the grounded hit. It, unless Panda has meters, take the grounded hit. Yeah, you take less damage when you're uh, in a grounded state. Okay, low high. Double low high. Bad it. Nice punish from Nino. Oh my god. Tried to full step. Got hit by the lifter. That's probably a kill. Oh, okay. Running chase down damage three. That was kind of cute. Okay, so far so good. Wow, two one out. Ooh, bets mid. Okay, was bet wrong. Okay, nice punish from Nino. Yeah, really showing off the strength of that TP. Tied him with a reset, drops to instant wall stand four. Bet's on the hell sweep. The problem is Bear's legs are so receded, you can't do that. The forward part of their hitbox hangs over their lower hitbox. I'm sorry, what? Down 4-4? Four, four? Huh? Hello? Okay, no break on the calm one. What the fuck? Mid cancel, and that's a kill? Yes, that is a kill. It is more than 40 uh, one points of damage. Uh, video number two, top right corner. Okay. G cluffing out. That's the second or third one was a, a counter hit, though. Doesn't matter. K was bet back three. Nino ready. Uh, hit him with the TP. Low high. Orbis 2 goes for the body splash. Plus frame option. Ah, double low again. Oh, that was third round? Oh, shit. I thought Kawas had one more, but I guess he just lost that one, didn't he? Fuck. Yeah, Nino just completely relentless. Okay. Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> okay, Sefi Black versus Super Akuma. Big duck on the down four. Four for two. Oh, drops it, but rec good recognition from uh, Sefi. Okay, betting. Okay, good check. I like it. He's keeping it just very, you know, a lot of fast buttons. Doesn't want to. Okay, Super Kuma trying to get something. Oh, oh shit. Trying to get something started. I respect the Dragon Punch. No hate. Okay, a little bit too close for the down back two short carry. Nice. Down for 3 1 or down for 3 2. We talked about that. Move is insanely good. I'm not sure he's happy about what happened there. One of the better, uh, like, poking uh, mid checks in the game. Sidestep left works quite well against the neutral of Akuma, you know, evades that forward three for instance. Take good patience. Okay, runs into it. FADC option. Open field. Should be able to easily get the wall. Ooh, nice. Okay, 50-50. Caught him. He's dead. Yeah. Once you hit it, it's it's basically over. Just keep in mind, you already bled like the 60, you know, 70%. From the combo, the and then the reset's like a one touch. You have one touch, and then you're dead. And worst of all, uh, Demon Flip Four hits the ground anyway, so it's not like, you know, it's not like you can just stay on the ground and just get away for free. Is you get you get like resplatted into the ground, so that way uh, Kuma effectively recovers quicker. Hey, nice hop kick. Okay, 4 for 2 2, trying to get the max carry going. Whoa, that wake up 4 was so scary. Okay, keep out option. Out of the air, nice. Hey, so far so good for Sefi. Super Kumo with uh, only half a bar here. Oh, should have trusted himself. Okay, nice combo conversion. Ooh, bets it. Nice punish. Beautiful. Minus 14. Perfect. Oh, he got the pickup. And the wall is pretty good, too. Over 2 1. Yes. 
Oh, too far. Yeah, kind of weird axie thing going on there. It was a diagonal wall. Oh, and it guesses wrong. Eating these one checks, which unfortunately put him at minus eight, uh, allowing for the uh, mid to go through. Ooh, okay. Oak stack back away. I like that. Ooh, four for four chase down. Luckily, Sefi not caught. Super Kuma just shy of one bar, but next touch will get him. Oh, he still got the conversion? Oh, I'm saying a little bit too low. A good step on jump in. Wow, 4 for 4 and wake up so good. Okay, Super Kuma position is not in great position, but he has the health, and no, there it goes. Okay, starting to bleed. And he will not get one bar by this uh, end of the round. Oh, big trade. Keep out option. One bar, he has it. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was a little, a little bit scary. I, I didn't think you'd get the bar. Oh shit! Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, I, I doubt he wanted the heavy Tatsu there, but hey, who knows? Oh no! Drops the combo. Luckily, he doesn't die for it. Okay, down four. Nice delayed side roll. Get out of the corner. Okay, that's it. Yeah, betting in that position is really terrifying because uh, of the fear of not just Dragon Punch, but also just Mash Out. Uh, again, after like Sav down Mech 3, even if the uh, if you Mash Out Duck Jab, the worst you can die to, or not even die, the worst that can happen is you eat a Sav up 4 3 for knockdown. Okay, easy kill. So, Matt, yeah, betting on the SAP 1 4 is a little bit scary. It's different when you have forward 2 1 into SAP 1 uh, because then you're plus 10 into like a 11 or 12 frame high, of course, in which case, you know, video number 3, top right corner, uh, you can't uh, you can't mash out because there's no frames for you to duck jab because uh, duck jabs take 4 frames. Okay, big. But yeah, in that position after Demic 3, you can kind of get away with murder by just duck jabbing often. And especially because Akuma can hit confirm, duck jab into like, you know, Tatsu or a light DP for FADC option, shit like that. Okay, nice chase down. That down three uh, plus four is really negative. And he should be dead. That should hit. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Really going well for Super Kuma. Sefi, I, well, I don't want to say he's been playing on the back foot, but he has been playing far enough behind. Oh, TP, okay. Where he is kind of sneaking out these wins. You know, he's being somewhat risk averse, which is perfectly fine. But uh, as usual, Sefi has like these tremendous reads, and because he wants to be risk averse, he uh, sh you know fades away from doing them, and he kind of falls behind because of it. But I understand why he's doing it. It's, can't really blame him. But a few, definitely a few times, it feels like, man, if he just trust his instincts, he'd be good to go. Okay, big. Oh, down four, two, two, short carry. That's pretty good. Okay, slowly making the open field. Again, that's probably the best thing you want to do if you're if you're so far ahead, you don't really want to risk it. Yeah, get get open field. Just don't give up the open field part. Okay, yeah, Forbes 2 is a high. Okay, got the confirm. Yeah, not the best wall positioning. I like this combo adjustment. Instant wall stand 2 into Dragon Punch. Oh, he ducked and he let go of the duck. Oh, no. Yeah, he ducked for maybe a few frames before uh, then coming down 3. I, I think he thought uh, Super Kuma would mash out the down three timing for the 13, but just unfortunately not. Wow, what a challenge, down four. Okay, whoa. Oh, big. Big, big, big. Okay, four, three. 
Oh, down four, two, four line. Let's go for carry. Oh, the four, four, two one on wake up position. Oh, I mean, it's only minus 13 anyway, right? Might as well go for it. Double hit. Um, oh, bets. Oh, nice punish. Yeah. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure Miguel could probably TP that. That's at least minus 17. A okay, short carry option, sav two. Yeah, unfortunately, down back three I don't think is minus 13, so that wall stand three is too slow. Okay, can Sefi close here? He's, he's in good spot. Okay, goes for the running one, the wall crush option. Oh, a lot of counter hits, beautiful low parry. Yeah, the one time Super Kuma isn't trying to 1 1 out in that position. Because, I mean, even at the wall positions right there, he can still go for like 1 1 into uh, Tatsu and whatnot, you know? He, do he does have an option. Big jump in four. Good down to confirm. Full combo, looking good. Full splat, run, you know, jump in four. And like a clean 70% gone. Oh, big counter hit or non counter hit, I guess. Because, yeah, the 1 1 would be NC if it was counter hit. Ooh, good patience. Oh, I like the Sav too in that position. Wouldn't give the wall splat, but still uh, would give a guaranteed follow up at the bare minimum. Oh, he gets hit by the down forward one check and runs to the 4 4 4. Ooh, there we go. Good call out. Can get to the wall. No, good confirm. Sefi really clean with those confirms. Okay, nice. Wall's great. Is Super Kuma going to spend any of this meter is going to save for the next round? Oh, he spends it. Okay, not only does he spend it, he spends it big. Can he get to the wall for the value? Okay, tries to go for the meaty Tatsu. Now he's dead. Oh, wait a minute. I would have down forward forward that. Oh, shit. Okay, so here it comes. Super Kuma went all in. Half a bar a meter by by basically second, third. If he doesn't have a bar, he's in trouble. I think we're going the distance, though. Safi should probably play a little bit, a little more aggressive while Super Kuma doesn't have the ability to convert off of like down two and down three errant hits. A nice duck, a little bit late on the punish. Safi doesn't want to overcommit. I mean, he is going for wall stand two. Playing it safe, maybe better go for wall stand four. I don't know. Wow, what a jump out. Okay, at this time, you know, Super Kuma does have meter to convert now. So, next touch will give combo. You don't have to explicitly wait for one bar. You, you can do it before. A okay, slight life advantage and no. Meaty EX Tatsu on incoming. Wall is terrible, though. Good bet. 50-50 for the win. Back three option. Nice. And that is a kill on time. Good shit. Yeah, there you go. The power of Sav up forward three. Yeah, uh, Super Kuma panicked, and that's all she wrote. Okay, and we're back. And I have it all set up uh, to go ready for the next one. And also, I'm just noticing it's like no matches. So the, I guess they must have played like most of the tournament off stream because... To be honest, I think there's like three matches left at most, so uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on, but hey, uh, we'll cover at least the top 16 and top 8 tomorrow, so. Okay, Ranger 9 uh, versus Joka. Okay, Kempo drop, yeah, the parry, the down 4-3 with Joka, a little bit scary again, backdash it, sidestep it, you can parry it. It's a great move until it stops being a good move. Okay, good pickup. And that's a wave move probably, yeah. Four for three option. Nice backdash and escape the incoming back three. Also, shout out to Joka. Having to play against Rafe. <laughs> now playing against Ranger 9 here. It, a Jin that far in meta nowadays? It's so strange. Okay, big pickup. Should be an easy kill. Now for four three? Okay, three side four, sure. The timing on the three side four is a little bit tricky, but uh, it must be max damage for him to go for in there. I know down forward 4-3 four, does one more point of damage in 4-3-4. Four, four. So 3 slide 4 probably does like one or two more points than down forward 4-3. Four, okay. There you go. Good block on the down back 3. 
Uh, Damic 3 is meaty for two frames, so if you block Damic 3 uh, towards one of the later active frames, uh, it goes from minus 15 to minus 14, but uh, Jin with wall stand 2 on 14 doesn't have to worry about that. Okay, nice poke out. No fear from Joka. Yeah, down for one might be a little bit too slow to challenge the uh, mid CDS transition. A good block should be an easy kill. Yeah, but uh, if Joka's doing, I'm sure it's it's in time. But uh, yeah, down for one on 14 and then back four on 12. So, wow, stop sign. I mean, we've seen Joka try to stop sign against Rafe. And we had seen Rayf do CDS 1 plus 2 right under it. That was his break. That was his break, yes. Okay, wow. The, the full triple wave. Wow. No fear. Okay, raw shoulder, no punish. Incredible forward four missed. Uh, shoulder with uh, Fang, I believe, minus 17. So that forward four on 16 should have hit. I wonder what happened. I mean, it's not a good punish, don't get me wrong. But uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, uh, next end of this week, we're going to play some Tekken 8. It's going to be great. Oh, big headbutt. Okay, yeah, chase down option. Good hit confirm. Wall's great, too. Okay, nice. Good combo adjustment. Whoa. Wow, pop the meter really fucking early. Why? Oh, okay. That's why. Kachi Taki. Yeah, damage potential is highly... Not good for Jin, so. As soon as you get one of those high flying combos that's non counter hit, natural hit option, it's gonna be rough for Jin uh, to get the kill in that position, unfortunately. So, one errant, just like generic down four, is all Joker needed to do, so. Oh no! Good conversion, easy kill. Yeah, Joka making some really uh, strong reads during these transitions. Ranger can cancel uh, the 4 4 into Zen. You can't do that. It is it is a thing. The problem is, at this point in the game, can Ranger make the adjustment against it? Okay, bets it. I like it. The BT 2 2 is only like minus 12 nowadays. Yeah, it used to be minus uh, 14 in, in tag, but nowadays, like I said, I think it's, it's no more than 13. I think it's minus 12S. Next time, right? We'll see. We'll see how like Tekken 8 really performs uh, when it comes to. Oh, this is probably it. Oh no, there's one more. Can. Oh yeah. So, um, they there is uh, there was some either technical difficulty or something. So, um, we're gonna flip right to the next game right after this. Like, sorry, the game in progress. By the way. But yeah, I don't know if they had a the power issue or. The stream just died or something, but uh, yeah, we have Kane and Trench uh, versus HK Jr. And I have the next the next half queued up anyway. Okay, the back two line hit him with the gun. That's on the uh, Rue kick. Oh wow, nice uh, uh Dragonfly one. Yeah, I mean it's unblockable. I think it only does like 15 damage, but it does hit grounded as well. Okay, yeah, chase down option. Nice 444 off of crouch cancel there. That was pretty cute. Sidestep option in. Okay, good. Boston forward it again. Well, nice spin out. That's it all, yeah. Same thing, also be minus 13. I think it's only minus 12 now as well. Wow, Kane and Trent's really trying to get uh, the, the uh, old big sidestep forward. Really trying to get the flash going. Like, he, no fear. This is crazy. Wow, meter pop? 50-50. Okay, 150-50 again. Okay, pops the meter. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, now something happens. Out of curiosity, I want to see what happens here. Stream, the stream is about to die, though. Okay, 4 for 4 option. Back 2-1. Free slide 4. Okay, so Cannon Trench with a massive lead here. Okay, goes for the mask. Spirit Shield, 4-4, four, four, trying to get the wall bounce. Yeah, he has also a big array of unblockables, of course. Okay, back to neutral. Okay. Oh, that sucks, because when they restart here, uh, they start the round fresh. <laughs> so, I was wondering what happened. Oh, and hopefully the sound's okay. Let me make sure. Okay, good. Okay, tackle. Uh, yeah, the uh, follow-up sword attack is unblockable. Or inescapable. There's no way to mitigate that incoming. 
Oh, full down back three line. Oh. Yeah, that might have been a gimme round, simply because Kane and Trench was so far ahead. I, I can't say for a fact, but that might have been a gimme. HK Jr. is definitely uh, experienced enough to take uh, the bad in stride. Uh, once again, that's a really big like tournament skill to have, is just be able to shake it off. You get a bad beat, it, you know, and you're still in the game, like the game's not over yet, just shake it off. Easier said than done, but it comes with the tournament experience. No, you haven't truly lost until your character is basically on the ground. Okay, good block. Okay, wall's not great. Yeah, he goes for the delayed line, gets a full splat. Yo, shout out to Yoshimitsu. Okay, good quick stand. He recognized the uh, wall push out. Okay. Okay, well, CD1 option, yeah, push him into the wall. Okay, bets on the down to one. Interesting. Yeah, he didn't want the in uh, unblockable. Uh, Rage art there, which is guaranteed after um, the wall crush. So, the uh, kin forward two. Uh, keep in mind, kin forward two is a high. So, okay, going really well for HK. A nice combo adjustment too, recognizing low slump. Ooh, keep out. Okay, doesn't get the quite the clean spin option or a splat. Okay, minus two. Then, oh, man. The, the nice thing with, with Yoshi is he does have down forward four on 12. So anytime you think HK Jr. is going to go for uh, a disrespect like down forward one one into one plus two or some sort of one plus two cancel option, I mean, Yoshi does have the 12 frame mid check to keep him at bay, uh, which is especially important now that, like, Heihachi one plus two is only minus 10. Heihachi, one of the characters, got, like, the grand scheme of things, like insane amount of, of, of buffs. Oh, big. I mean, Yoshi also has down like three as well, so he, ha he has tools to challenge it. Okay, that should be a kill. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the one jab, uh, three slide four, I believe it is. Yeah, three slide four, because I think four slide three is root kick into a hold up that way transition into dragonfly and then dragonfly four. Whoa, okay. What a challenge. Okay, Kane and Trench feeling himself even while he's not winning this game. I respect that. Oh, what a challenge. Forward on plus two into two, two check. Okay, cancel Kinlo. Big side step four. Wall's not great, but Kane's going to make the best of it. Oh, not quite. Oh, no. Okay, if the wall was closer, he'd be dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. The the second hit of one back two. In that case, I think he did back two, one plus two. Uh, so the second hit is, is like a really, really beefy mid. And then, of course, the headbutt is a headbutt, but it is jailing between the two hits. But in that position against Airborne, yeah, back two did get buffed in season four, I believe. So it's, it's very, very consistent uh, when it comes to hitting the opponent uh, mid-combo. Like, there, there was a time where the Rage Drive line with Heihachi was kind of difficult. Like, it really required, like, a deep ash dash. And as I mentioned, because the headbutt is a high, uh, if you miss the back two, you get fucked. Uh, now, granted, the tricky part going get Oh, no, the double low. The tricky part about the, the double uh, of, of the Rage Drive, the, the double and the triple, is that you can't really space the one jab back two into headbutt. So you really can only duck the back two, which means, yeah, you're kind of guessing quite often. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Oh, nice challenge from HK out of there. Down four one two is an instant spin. Okay, it takes the super, super simple option. Nice break out. Bets on the BT down one, but HK Jr. jumps right over it. With, I believe that was running three. If it was anything other than up four uh, running three, I think he uh, would have instantly won. Okay, shift option, solo poke option there. I like the uh, full crouch down forward forward butt from Kane. Also, uh, again, that single hell sweep with Heihachi uh, is massive plus frames. It's like plus 15 or something. So there are no frames to beat uh, any option, realistically. Okay, goes to flee. Big whiff, light punish. Oh, I like the up one plus two or three plus four there. Oh, nice confirm. Sure. Whoa, spin away. Very lucky Kane didn't... Oh, well, not lucky anymore. But yeah, very lucky he didn't instantly die right there. Okay, not a great combo. 
Four or two three, I think would have got it. Ah. Uh. flash at them, but nice check with the Dolpho one. Okay, Kane is in this. He's not out of it quite yet, but HK is definitely looking really strong here. Big Take that. Kane immediately rebuts with four two again. Might as well to counter launcher. And safe, and a knockdown. Oh man, hitting the 2-2, but eats a normal win Godfis. Okay, very fortunate. At least one more try here. Oh, for Kane. HK kind of feeling himself too hard goes for the uh, wall crush, the backpack one plus two. Okay, big four for two. He gets 150 50 here, too. Out of the air. Not over yet. Good break on Stonehead. That's it. Okay, doesn't get the wall option. Ah, yeah, no frames, unfortunately. Yeah, he, he, he could have tried doing Rage Try, but I think he might have. Just, just no frames. Sorry, Rage Art. Uh, the Super Rage Art up back. Uh, 1 plus 4, I think it is. Oh, hey. Okay, we got uh, uh, Super Kuma versus, uh, I guess, Akuman. Okay, jump down. Good patience so far. Pushing him to the corner. Definitely going to be a, a battle of corner positioning. Both, uh, oh wow. Both players do have decently good uh, general escapes. Oh wow. Speaking of which, tries to jump out. Nice running one from Akuman. Ooh, 4-4 four, four out of the air. Yeah, that's spin option. Ooh, nice adjustment from Super Kuma. Does have the one meter here. Okay, going the other way though. Oh, he wants a reset. He gets it. Nice. Tatsu to force Super Kuma into a teching position. Uh, he techs and bets wrong against incoming down three. Keep in mind, uh, you can chill on the floor. In that position where you're not by the wall of down three into like Tatsu won't like give you any sort of reset possibility. Um, just small damage, but realistically the Tatsu would drop. Okay, light punish. Uh, yeah, Tatsu, both light and heavy Tatsus are minus 15. Akuma has a 14 frame launcher with back one. Oh no. Oh, and he full splats? What the fuck is this? Okay, jump in option. Poke out. Oh, he spends the meter. Oh, I like the forward four in that position. Again, if he goes airborne, he gets a spin. If he counter hit, oh, all TP, okay. If he goes, you know, gets counter hit, the 4-4 four four would be a launcher, so. The problem is 4-4 four four is a high, so it does really invite down two and down three counterplay. Also, just like hard commit duck options, too. Oh, nice down four. Down four would OS the second hit of 4-3, and also uh, would be meaty incoming. You can still duck it, because uh, it hits on 17, and stand four is only minus 12. But still, it's a great idea. Whoa! Tatsu from downtown. Nice backdash against incoming wall stand too. Terrible punish though. Okay, Akuman really giving Super Kuma the chance he needs. Luckily, he's out of the corner now. Okay, good confirm. No meter to continue the combo here. Yeah, Akuman does have really good wall positioning. Oh, is he dead? Oh, not if he lets him out. Seconds are running down, though. Oh, good block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tsunami kicks are typically minus 15. There you go. Back one, finally. Okay, full spot. Oh, op interesting. Okay, kind of wanted maybe possible uh, side infinite. He wanted the, the Tatsu line. Okay, good Akuma. positional awareness from Super Kuma walking Akamon well. into the corner. If he doesn't want to escape, might as well walk with him. Okay, well, nice combo. Reset. Board rolls out. Beautiful. Bad confirm. Allows him to 2D jump out. Okay, good patience. Yeah, Akamon way in the lead. Might as well just chill. No need to the party here. Wow, wall stand four. Wow, what a rebut, too. Okay, bets it, goes for the demon flip. Nice. Demon flip one option, the safe 
uh, launcher, and that's probably it. Oh my god, the damage though. Oh my god. I mean, I, I can't feel bad for Akamon. He's playing Akuma, <laughs> right? Okay, nice punish. Yeah, the uh, the straight kick down four four is like minus eighteen or something. Yeah, he. I mean, he. At the end of the day, he's also playing Goki. So, wow, what the fuck? Resplat? Really? Really? Panda? Okay, plus seven S option goes for back four. Yeah, now he needs to really start approaching. Maybe try and some. Hey, still in this, still in this, but hey, uh, two step kicks will take it. <laughs> yeah, he at least had uh, one fifty fifty going his way, but as soon as he hit the single step kick, it was yeah. Any air hit is going to kill you, so. Okay, down four. There we go. Get some down four action going. Okay. Oh, my God. He didn't get a crossover? What the fuck? The, the, proje like the trajectory change on the Demon Flip 4 was disgusting. It bets it. Nice punish. Perfect. Yeah, that was that was fucking vile. Okay, light punish. Down four. Akuman needed that. Okay, there you go. Ooh, spicy. Okay, so what is Akuman gonna do here though? Is he gonna go for the wake up four? Yeah, it is a free attempt, and you have health to play with. Okay. Yeah, only when Akuma has meter. Or has health to play with, or has like a, a significant health advantage, can you not really go for the four? So the oh no. Okay, open field option. There you go. You see the nerf demon flip up three. Up. Uh, doesn't cost launcher. That's one of the only nerfs Akuma's actually gotten recently. So, demon flip three used to be a uh, instant spin launcher. Okay, I like the forward rollout. He eats the fireball for free. Very lucky for Akuman. Wow, all in uh, Dragon Punch. That was a light DP, too. So that doesn't actually have invulnerability frames. It's just fast. Okay, nice mash out. Oh, full splat. Okay, nice combo. Probably dead. Oh, yeah, hella dead. Jeez. Even with two wall hits <laughs> proceeding. Down forward one option into Tatsu. So good. Okay, Akamon dodging a bullet here with this misconfirm from Super Kuma. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, light punish, but I understand in that position why that missed. But if you see, like, Tatsu coming down the line, I mean, it's definitely up to you to max punish. In that weird-ass scramble situation, I understand not max punishing it. Okay, there you go. Game flip three. Four for two, one, full splat. Breaks the wall. Wall's good, too. Chase down option. Running one, maybe not the best. Okay, there we go. Demon, I don't know if that was Demon Flip 4. I think that was a running 3. That's probably why it crossed under or crossed over, depending on how you look at it. Ooh, nice confirm, but he just pulled the trigger. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Out of the air. Keep calm. Now punish him. Nice. Hey, why the zoom out? It's not a react. <laughs> Oh, so if you're if you're noticing why, like, I, I actually read this. If you're noticing why the opponents, or sorry, the players look kind of under duress apart from normal, like, tournament nerves, supposedly it's super hot in there. So that's unfortunate. But he, they definitely look like they're sweating. Okay, good patience from uh, Akuma. Nice, uh, one jab. I can't believe one jab beat Demon Flip 4. That's crazy. Demon Flip 4 completely changed the trajectory. Okay, good punish. Uh, wall stand 2 is minus 15, though, with uh, Akuma. Wow, uh, challenging in. Interesting. Good call on the down 4. Okay, Akuman has the meter advantage, but so far, Super Kuma's been playing really well to be very slippery. Uh, Akuman has, like, big advantage, and kind of lets Super Kuma get out for free, but uh, he says not this time, as we get a full combo. And basically nearly identical with Super Kuma meter now. As long as he doesn't do something incredibly stupid, he should be okay. But he, does, he also needs to get out of this corner. Again, you want to get open field. You want to mitigate the possibility of random kills. Especially because wall bounce is so... There you go. Like I said, Demon Flip 4 changed trajectory. 
Um, yeah, because wall bounce is so overtuned in this game. Okay, nice back dashing. Beautiful back dashing from Akamon. That's it, stand jabs. Hey, yeah, he's starting to panic. Oh, footsies. Oh, wow, he let him fucking full 1 plus 2. Oh, no. It bets it all. Okay, that should be a kill. Yeah, okay, good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Scary. Yeah, good patience. Yeah, luckily, um, wow. Yeah, luckily Super Kuma didn't go for the Demon Flow 4. And yeah, they're right into it. This is crazy as fuck. Super Kuma wants to keep it going. Okay, nice too. Down forward, threading down forward. Beat him by a, a couple frames. Okay, keep out option. I like this. Akamon definitely does not have wall positioning, but uh, the overhead off of uh, Demon Flip. Safe launcher. I mean, why do, why, is, why not? Okay, easy kill. Also, I wonder what uh, Akamon's playing on. If he's playing on a hitbox or a pad or what. Because you sure as hell know he ain't playing on stick. Okay, nice step. Bad punish. Doesn't matter. He doesn't pay for it. Oh no, he got like a safe jump, jump in four timing. Had he done a jump in four, he would have been okay. Oh no. Yeah, safe jumps really don't exist in Tekken, so you get this animation cut out. So yeah, you, you're, you're forced to do jump ins like really late. There is some variability with like Demon Flip 3 especially, where even though it's a high, well, nice conversion. Is he dead? No, not quite. 50-50 for the win. Uh, Akamon bets on uh, Dragon Punch, but yeah, the down three is meaty, so there's no frames. If Akamon, oh my god, again! Again! Okay, light punish from Super Kuma. Okay, nice there, give him the chop. Yeah, once again, plus 7S, you have to hold that shit. You're not allowed to do anything after plus 7S against Akuma when down three and down two hit on 13 or faster. Okay, good patience. There you go. Good punish. Wall's great. Reset, yes. Oh, oh got to get wow. Yeah, the angle was off there to get that. But this got to do Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, looking good for Akamon. Hey, hey. Should be a kill, yeah. Four for two and hits like a truck. Okay. Basically even on meter. Nice little keep out kick. Okay, good block. Yeah, at that range, I don't know if wall stand two would hit. It probably would, but I don't know. Oh, keep out down two. Okay, this is big. Now, is Akumon going to pop his meter is the question. It reset. Got the conversion. Okay, he's uh, Super Kuma's ready for the three plus four out. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, final, final round. Akumon has the meter. He, he definitely has better position. He, he, a little bit behind on momentum, though. Oh, the dash up shimmy. Interesting. Maybe trying to get a low parry out. Okay, single step kick. Overly respects it. Nice punish. Okay, Akamon needs to get out of that wall. Nice down forward to beat the, uh, the focus stack. Okay, Super Kuma conceding. Light punish. That probably was nice minus load. 14 range. Okay, nice conversion. Hey, hey. Nice okay, yeah, one wall. touch coming in. I nice see. Good nice punish. Nice Wall's kind of wonky though. Don't Look good patience. Wow, jump away. Oh, let's let's go. Oh, the fuck? Okay, ow. Five seconds. Yeah, I'm say if I'm if I'm Akumon, I would just stay on the floor. There's literally nothing Super Kuma can do. Yeah, they, they changed how running three works in uh, five. It's not really a direct nerf. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, they, they definitely changed how it works. So yeah, he should have stayed on the ground. The bad news is like he did get up and you know gave Super Kuma a chance. Like, what if Super Kuma did air fireball again? Right, he probably would have killed him. But uh, yeah, hindsight's twenty twenty. So. Yeah, for Belgium. I hope you. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. It's weird because I only backed up like two clicks, so this is gonna be a fast round probably. Starbreaker versus Kawis. Okay, down four four option. RFF four four. I hate that fucking move. 
Okay, yeah, short carry. Not the not the best, but nice conversion from Kwes. Good recognition. Okay, wow. CD two one to beat uh, the back four is crazy. Wow, good double taunt timing. Um, yeah, you yeah, know, text right into the meaty taunt, well, allowing for the down for one cancel. Ooh, okay, my if turn. Tries two four out. Good down four four. Is Starbreaker nice, doing a lot of snake it's dashing? Ooh, Not it's horrible it's to go like against Harong. Harong down four two. I mean, I don't know if Kwis can do a lot down four two. So. Ooh, no break on the command two. Well, maybe too much dancing. Not anymore. Woo! There we go. Down for two. <laughs> I have no clue what the hell just happened there. That was a weird ass series. Almost turn steely. It was weird. Yeah, yeah, nice. Goes for the disrespect four. This time goes for a back three with punish. It drops up for a three, unfortunately. Big counter hit, but somehow the low misses. Tight. Oh, down for two. Keep out. Okay. That's an easy kill. Yeah. Okay. Looking good for Kawis. Starbreaker came out of the gate uh, hardcore, but good step on GFSR. Really light punish, unfortunately. Hey, fishing. Good patience. Got the counter hit mid option. Gets the cross up, and that's probably a kill. Yeah, unscaled hit. Nice delayed side roll uh, to the left to escape incoming. Yeah, the orbital attack does cause like a ground spat, a splat, guaranteeing the back three. But at certain ranges and axes, yeah, delayed side roll uh, to the left, um, your left, uh, his right, uh, can evade the follow up. So, okay, double taunt. Oh, wants the three plus four. Interesting. A good break. Uh, oh, nice, good low parry. I like how Kwis is kind of. Wearing down Starbreaker by knowing him with throws. I wonder if there's some history here. Wow, nice combo. Sides up four, fishing mid. Good patience from Starbreaker. Goes for instant wall stand three, rebut. Uh, just in case Kwis goes for the uh, two four there, that's it all. Nice chase down down four four though. Wow, opening jab. Interesting. Or duck jab. Okay, that's it. Got the counter hit. Only minus 10 anyway. Who cares? <sighs> Good block. RFS forward four. Okay, got the cancel option. Goes for a back dash, down back two, resplat. Could it go for also a crunk line? Down plus two also works there too. But uh, down back two is fine. Okay, so far so good. Runs it to the counter hit though. <laughs> you want to see the combo again? Here we go. Check this shit out. Oh wow, what a combo. Nice. Command back throw. Beautiful. Okay, was parting. Yeah, I mean, you have like a uh, 90% life lead, right? Fuck it. And like I said, I wonder if there's a history because Kawis just opened up with a dash up throw again. Yeah, 2 3, perfect. I think that's plus 5. It only used to be plus 1 in older games, so they buffed the shit out of it. Oh, I like the down forward, but yeah, at that range, I don't know if Brian can punish it. Maybe 4 3 reaches, but I don't think so. Man, chase down, down back four. It does so much damage. Yeah, Starbreaker, again, with this massive momentum, just getting sapped out. Like I said, they, there must be some history between the two of them because Aeos is definitely playing different than he normally plays. Okay, chase down option, one, two, four. Can't confirm that. No duck from Aeos. Solo down four, four. Oh, uh, down back four, four. Oh, no. Recognizing that Starbreaker is going for one too many power crushes. Bets it on the down back 4-4. Four four. That's crazy. Oh, is that it? That might be it. Yeah, that's it. Dang, I, I kind of feel bad I had to take a bathroom break in between. Because now I'm going to edit this. It's going to be like an hour long. So, Okay, um, comments, questions, concerns. Uh, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, uh, Reddit. Uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, we'll cover uh, the, the top uh, uh, eight, I guess, tomorrow. That's crazy that we're up to top eight already from top 24. So we'll cover that. Uh, consider becoming a member. And then also, I, I'm going to try to make um, uh, like a, a, a quick tech and aid video for you guys just to kind of get you guys ready for the CNT. Um, simply because, yeah, there's a couple of things that I uh, need to talk about. I'll probably do like a quick 
I, I, I do have like behind the scenes like videos for T8, but I'm still waiting for more information from Harada to make some more content. But I, I will do a, a quick like preface video uh, to kind of like I said get you guys ready for CNT, uh, at least a little bit of information um, of what to do, probably what you want to try with your character. I haven't played it myself, but I've seen enough and I've done enough theory crafting that I think we can do a quick video at least for you guys. So, and then of course, hopefully, you know, God willing. Um, get into the, the, the beta, and then I'll have to borrow my friend's PS5 because <laughs> I don't have a PS5. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, questions, comments, hit me up. Otherwise, let's check you all guys out in the next video. Later on.